Well, I figured I'd do a revisit of the first set of dot .hack games. And yeah, I actually have been making progress recently on um, getting back in the GU. It's just been finishing up the last few quests for um, the first game that I've been getting in my way. Because they take forever! Like, I gotta hunt down a few more lucky animals and stuff. And just, ugh. I'm not even gonna bother filling up the entire monster list. Joy. Ah, oh, no. That may have been better in English. Yeah, I know. German, but still. Okay. User At least then I wouldn't have to have English subtitles to understand it. Yes, a name. waiting for me. I better hurry. Well, he is obsessed with the game. He is, you know, of the Azure Sea. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could choose, you know, my appearance a bit more, along with my class, because it sucks being stuck as a twin blade. Seriously, worst class ever. I know I probably complained a lot about in the last time I played, but it just bears repeating. Like, it's a class that just has, you know, feet in both camps. It sucks. It doesn't really excel at anything. It drives me nuts because of it. <sighs> well, I guess we'll do a nod for the next game, despite the fact, you know, this name makes no sense. To a certain extent, but do you know Triage? Boom. Yeah, let's proceed. Yeah, I never got why Kite was picked as the name, considering it's, it's not like he's gonna be Kite of the Azure Sky. Balming already took that title. I'll check my email. Ah, darn it. Yeah, 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 don't care. That's not interesting information at all. Ugh, Sapphires, we can't even visit a lot of these cities yet. Because our level's not going to be high enough to even get to them. Ugh. I think you only get to, like, the f go to the first two in this game. Not that there's going to be anything of great interest here. I just hate having the word new pop up on the screen. It just annoys me, okay? Like, I gotta quickly click through this stuff, or I'll go insane. Is there anything interesting on the board? Like, hit me with a keyword here. Um... Yeah, 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 I don't care about tolerances and elements, because I know the basics anyway. Thunder, dark, water, fire, earth, ground, that sort of thing. They're too strong. Well, stay away from the plate killers, then. Yes. Yep, Master Supreme, second place. Yeah, we gotta compete with, um... Balmong if we want to get the top spot. You know, and take everything for ourselves when it comes to the time equipment. Worry about that later, though. I mean, it's a side mission to top that. There's a certain keyword that helps. I don't even bother talking about Balbon. He's a prick. I, mean, I guess they make him mellow out in later games. I just really don't care for him. But I suppose that's true for a lot of characters in this game. But I think what's really going to get to me with the, with the revisit here is probably going to be the combat system. Because there's a lot of micromanagement you have to do with the AI. Like, it doesn't choose, you know, effective weapons for fights. 
which drives me nuts sometimes, because you gotta constantly switch weapons and choose spells for the AI. Which just slows things down, you know, if I just want to run up and punch things. Especially against later bosses that can take a lot of damage. Hey, you made it. Is that really a surprise? Like I said, I was gonna show up, didn't I? Uh. Or does my character have a habit of, you know, blowing off meetings? Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Well, does he know you by your character at all? This is his first time logging in. Wow, you look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Well, it's a video game. What did you expect? Hey. In this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. Despite only being level 50, that game where you can go up to level 99. What? No, you look great. Anyway, take this. Yeah, smiley emoticon, whatever. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. With flash mail. You can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. So it's just instant messaging. It's Got mostly it. mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. Why would it be used by experienced players? Well, they exchange everything outside of this stuff with emails because they feel it's more secure? It out by inviting me to join your party. Or those players tend to have more set FaceTimes so they can just chat, you know, without sending flash mails. Press the triangle button to open the menu. In the menu, select party. Next. Name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add Orca. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're the only player I can pick. Can we just move on? Hmm. It's not like we got many other choices here. Under your screen. That means I'm in your party. By the way. Flashmail is only available when you're in a town. Well, that makes it kind of oh, useless. And you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world. Well, couldn't I just send them messages and wait for them to get back to me people later? You have a life, you know. We're not online 24/7. <laughs> oh, it definitely feels like we're moving away from that with cell phones you know, nowadays. You can't always count on the same members to form a party. But I prefer doing that because I usually give the same characters, you know, the best gear. Oh, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. No, you won't, because it means I have to collect more shit. Now you play is <laughs> up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. No. If anything, I wish he took me to a higher level area so I could get more levels faster. Because, you know, he can easily one-shot enemies that are, like, level 8 or 10. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. This is the Chaos Oh, well. Gate. Sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. Now, press the X button. In the world. Yes. The play zone is called an area. Determined by a combination of three keywords. Select new keyword. This is the keyword screen. Yes, new one. You put the three selected keywords one by one for each part. A, B, and C. Which influences their status, you know, for field and dungeon and all that stuff. Left so this will make a fire field. Is all the keywords you have. Yeah, sadly we don't have that many just yet. I imagine you'd go nuts if you tried visiting every potential area in this game, though. You can collect more of them by reading your emails, the board, and from other players. Or randomly messing with them. Though, like I said, you know, the amount you can mess with is just insane. Now, let's <laughs> enter some keywords by starting with select. Yes, Good. bursting. Next for, for the last one. Now Passed over Aquafield. You know, that's the basic one we're getting. So it's going to be a wood element one area, level you one. See the symbol on the left next to the keyword? That's the server. Yeah. Symbol. It indicates which server you are currently logged on to. 
Yep, we're in the first server. You know, where all the newbies go. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the Delta server. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. So fire and water cancel each other out, making it, you For know, example, wood. Check the field type. See the jewel on the right? This means that the field type is being determined by aqua field, the keyword in C. We don't know what kind of field the current keyword will create until we get there. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out... Uh, select... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go. I wish I'd stop rushing, but, you know, it's a tutorial. There's only so much I can put up with them explaining shit I already know. Like, this is like the fourth or fifth time I've played this game. Oof. Before we get going, let me explain to you about the camera control. During the game... Please don't. Yeah, I'll explain. yeah, yeah. all directions, especially in the field, because eventually they start wandering around on it. First, rotate the camera. Ugh. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button. Good. Next, yes. Let's zoom in and zoom. You can zoom the camera yeah, yeah, yeah. In by using the right analog stick. Try it. Though you're usually yeah. gonna want to put it out as far as way as possible. You reset the camera by pushing the R. There. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't need to worry this about that right now. Field. It's the lowest level in the area. When you want to return to the town, press the triangle button and select Gate Out from the menu. Grassland, Wilderness, and Jungle are some of the field types. You can set them with keywords. The combination yeah, thank you for the update. determines the area elements. For example, if it's a grassland and it's raining, that area will be a water element stage. The elements also yeah, the thanks. Type of monsters that will appear and the items you can get. I know. Don't worry about it now. <sighs> As you get used to it, combine words to get different elements. Now, let's get going on our quest. First, you see the in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just start beating stuff up? By using the fairy yeah, yeah. The problem is this is a small map. Which is why you would come back here later on to get a faster, clear dungeon thing on your book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just press X. I know. The problem is with my low level, it's hard to hit this damn thing. Ugh. It actually sucks at first. Come on. Just land that final blow. Thank you. Press the triangle button to open the map. Okay then. Yeah, I know. But I got no skills I can really use besides rep right now. Appears, select the target and That's it. You can target a party member for recovery or remedy skills and the enemy for attack skills. Well, I would hope so. This game doesn't have any creative options to, you know, hurt the enemy through healing them. Unlike Yu-Gi-Oh. You can only apply before using a skill. Yeah, within your view. So, so you gotta make sure you well, pull the camera back so you can see as many enemies as possible. It's your turn You're damn right I am. To do by using chat commands. Okay. Oh gosh darn it. Okay then. Next. Yes, first aid and shut up. Well, Dude, I don't have a medical grade well, version of that in here. Boss, isn't it? If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy. Or give separate orders to each party member. Yeah, I know. You add new members to the party. Try various chat commands to see their effects. That's it for now. When yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. I don't know why he felt the need to explain all that stuff. Okay, I can hope there's a dungeon. There's a chest here. Nope. Well. Okay. Yeah, thank you. 
Okay. We can get a chest at some point. I'm gonna have to go in the dungeon to get a chest. Because I gotta have equipment I can toss in there before I can, you know, make use of that mist spring. Gosh darn it. Slightly missed the door. My angle was getting in there was terrible. Now we can start exploring <sighs> the dungeon. Gosh darn it, more tutorial! You need to remember. Yeah, yeah, I can't get out. You gotta go back the way you the came sprite. in. Or use a sprite arena. This is you Yeah, yeah. This, this one's not booby trapped. Got it. Just let me open it. This one's booby. Just use the fortune. Yeah, I noticed. See? Let's open her up. The death, huh? Such garbage. The death is completely worthless. Ugh. Like, seriously, worst item ever. Like, you constantly get copies of the death. It sucks. Okay. Nomad's hood, huh? Well, though. Promise we already have one of those. Ugh. Oh, yes. We must see it. A beast of legend. There goes Aura. And there's the terror of death. What the? Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but... Something like that on this level? Gotta love how their lips don't move. <laughs> we couldn't animate it in. It was too expensive. We were pushing this out in a hurry. Of course, even if we fall, they won't be there, because they magically disappeared. By going into, you know, a space between worlds, I guess. But, you know, at least we got a treasure chest. Yep, we got ourselves another speed charm. Well, we can't really leave here. After all, Orca has to fall. I suppose I could use a speed charm, but screw it, this dungeon's not very long. Later ones, I'll definitely be using them as they're necessary. In the dungeon. The only way to get out of a trap yeah, like I know there are. Every single room in these dungeons is trapped like this. You can never bypass monster fights. Which only kind of annoys the crap out of me. Because it'd be nice every now and again to just be able to avoid this stuff and just keep moving, you know? This game's like, nah, you need to fight. I'm like, man, I don't want to fight. And he's like, oh yeah, you do. And I'm like, no, I don't. And he's like, oh yeah, you do. And I'm like, no, I don't. I know. Okay. Uh, Daily Block, take his fireball. There's no way that did that as much damage. He must have hit it. Well, first aid, will you? Thank you. I know I don't have much HP, but I'll take what I can get. Okay. Well, we got another resurrect for our trouble. Well, it clears all the dungeon portals. Yeah, no, I'm trying to hold back a few yawns here. Not, you know, got the most energy at the moment. A leather coat. Okay. Oh, well, that's not the same thing as our leather armor. That would give us an earth raise. 
Oh, well, that's not very helpful right now. Then again, you know, nothing's going to be particularly helpful where we're going. This is the room where the statue Okay. Is. There's only one of them at the dungeon's deepest level, and you can get rare items from it. Not really. <laughs> um, you want to get rare items, you have to use data drain this game. I mean, you get some treasure items you can use in trade, but honestly, you only do trading to fill up your real book for the most part. For now. Let's grab the treasure and get back to town, shall we? If we had a Sprite Oak Arena, we could warp out of here, but we don't have one. I know, it's convenient oh, story bullshit for why we don't have one. Yes, I'm a famous player in the world, but I don't care around Sprite Ocarinas to avoid bullshit. Okay. I'll take the upgrade in power, but this tire clogs is really damn expensive, if I remember correctly. So we're not going to really use it. Oh joy. Or was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction. At the whim of the user. Your... It's coming. I know it's coming. And we're screwed. Because we don't have enough people for this thing. So it is a bit weird that a level 50 can't even hurt this thing while a bunch of level 30s can take it out. It'll kill you. I need you to try some attack skills. Well, he's screwed. Of course, I love how your character doesn't get damage or anything, it just gives him status effects. The Lord gets hit with it, puts him in a coma. So he's basically gonna be gone the entire game. It wasn't supposed to be this way. I'm sorry! Get out of here! Well, that's going back to Aura. Good thing the Terror of Death's more interested in that than kicking the crap out of us. Oh wait, I'm sorry, we get saved by Helba, don't we? Yep, that's our staff, alright. Which manages the force log us out. With a system error. Now we get all the talking, right? Oh, Jailway, now it's inside of us. But yeah, we're in Net Slum right now. Helba's Paradise. Which what gets later used by a. Uh, Why was he upset? By a certain AI in the um, next game that runs Moon Tree. Yeah, the leader of the most powerful. Well, are the most powerful guild in the second game that doesn't really, really even give a shit about his own guild is an AI. Oof. I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. And then? 
I found out he was in a coma. The next day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. Well, what's there to see? He's just a body basically laying in a bed at the moment. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week. And he wouldn't want that either. But what the hell happened to him? Data drain. I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. Yeah, such a great choice of name for a video game, right? Well, there we go, so we gotta get emails about the um, data drain options now. We need to see the problems with our servers. Currently, we are focusing our efforts in finding the cause of the problem. Now, in order to proceed efficiently, we will limit play to only the. Ah, uh, so we can only access two servers right now. Let's look at everyone else. Joy! Well, that'll do for this episode. Next time, we'll return to the world and begin looking for clues. Until then, see ya.